Finn, that's the end. No, 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 I refuse. What happened to Musée and Mila? No, why weren't they there in that final cutscene? Did she get to keep her human body or did she have to go back to being separated from Jude and the others forever? I have to know the answer to these questions. The Fatalist, I got a title, ooh. Event list is updated, double ooh. I acquired a crap ton of gold. Is that enough to pay off my debt? How many digits is that? Victor's outfit for Luger, ooh. Nice. Endless Waltz, nice. Uh, bonds of Shadow, mysterious relic imbued with untold spiritual powers. It grants the bearer access to a certain trial. That's gonna get us into the uh, final thing. Congratulations on clearing the game. Your clear data will be saved. When you load your clear data, you can continue playing from your status just before you cleared the game. New Game Plus has also been added to the main menu. By selecting this game mode, you can start a new game that carries over all the data from your clear data, but only for each time you've cleared the game. You've learned the following skills which you can use when transformed. Overdrive and Chromatus Drive. Both of these can be set from the skill screen. I'll look into those later myself. So now we need to save over the... Which one do I need to save over? This one, in case this session messed up, which I really hoped it didn't, because I would hate to have to go through the end of the game knowing what happened while recording. Better not have messed up on me. Did you do I'm going to let this play. Let's listen to this for the end of the uh, game. This was definitely a very good game. Don't let my criticisms fool you. This was definitely a good game, and I definitely recommend it. It had its problems. Most certainly, I could name off plenty of them. But the problems do not outweigh the general amazingness of this game. Let's see what happens when I load up my save file here. We're still in the Entumbra, it seems. So I imagine now I have uh, Kanan uh, available as a quick jump. Yeah, we're back here, and we could probably just jump back into the end of the game to fight uh, Kronos, uh, Bakur, and what's his name? No, actually, that's all we fought was Kronos and Bakur. We didn't fight Origin like I thought we would. Origin was seriously debuffed in this game. Did not look near as awesome as did in Zillia. Is the cat up there? I wish I could jump so I could see if the cat was up there. But uh, let me try and make my way to the cat. Let me see here. Can I make my way to the cat? It would be really complicated. I'll get the cat myself. Let's uh, jump to Neocara. Is it? Do I have this as a quick jump now? Whoa, what are these green things? Land of Canaan. Yeah, it's a dungeon listed under... Uh, it's listed under dungeons, and it's listed under uh, Olympias. And possibly also here as well. Yeah, it is. Because it's just like Marksburg. It links them. All right. Uh, there is in Marksburg. There's a new one. Oh. And there are these green ones in Triglyph and Spirius. Wait a minute, let's see what's in Marksburg. Where is it? 
all the way over there on the other side. Let's see what that is real quick. I've still got a couple of minutes until I have a, a good stopping point. People. Don't let me get squished. Ah, don't worry. You'll recover. Let's see what's over here. Who's got another... Ah, huh, that's right. They established a new rank at the Coliseum. Oh, ho, 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 that sounds fun. Is that so? Why now, after all these years? Between the recent tensions with Olympias and the sudden appearance of Canaan, more and more people are finding themselves motivated to seek greater strength. And the new rank was created to be an outlet for that desire? You humans certainly have strange ways of dealing with these sorts of things. The new rank is supposed to be seriously tough. What do you say? Want to give it a shot? Well, there's certainly value in trying. Ew, no! There could be all sorts of gross new monsters in there. It's so scary. And yet, you don't sound even remotely scared. Are you kidding? She's scarier than probably all the monsters we ran into. I would say Muse's duplicitous nature is far more frightening. I'm with Rowan on this one. Is it? I think it's cute. You also don't understand how humans work, so... <laughs> Alright then, so we got that at Shandu. El Souvenir, let's look at this. Leia, what are you writing? I'm just jotting some notes in my L diary. L diary? I'm keeping track of what happens while El's away. So when we see her, we won't have forgotten anything. So it's like a souvenir for Al? Maybe I should get her something too. A collection of pretty stones, maybe. You'll have to prepare her favorite meal, Luca. Yeah. Guys, she dies. She she dies. You're not gonna see her for a couple more years when Luger, you know <laughs> when Luger taps his wife. And then a little while after that. <laughs> and you can put on a cloak and golden crown for her, Gaius. I don't think Gaius has those things. He has his, like, little red and black awesome uh, thing that goes on the left side of his head. I don't know what to call it. The cloak and crown? I'm sure that's how Elle likes to see her kings. What about me? When we get to Canaan, you'll show her what it is you do. That is what you promised her, is it not? Yes. Yes, it is. If you heard that vibrating, it was my phone. Of course, when I've only got like five minutes to go, someone tries to call me. Isn't that just how it always works out? Sorry about that if you heard it. All right. We got another skit. Hey, Tipo. What do you really think of me? You're a god among men. So handsome, so cool, so stylish. Oh my, how did you do that? Your mouth wasn't moving at all. Oh, it's easy enough. I've been waiting for a chance to do that since forever. If you don't mind. But the handsomest of all is that silver fox Rowan. <laughs> I, I think I understand what's happening here, so I'm going to see if I'm right. If they'll tell me. Uh, Tipo is a booster. We figured this out in Zillia 1. He's a booster, an item that enhances someone's uh, mana lobe and whatnot. So uh, he, and the way that he is animate and talks is... He uh, speaks the inner mind of the person that he's linked to. So whenever he's talking, he's like saying the deepest things in Elise's mind that she won't say herself. It's basically like a second personality for Elise. So I'm pretty sure what's happening is when Alvin and Rowan grab him, they're linking with him, and then they're, he's saying their inner thoughts, I think is, what hap is what's happening. Or they're just really good ventriloquists. One of the two. Wow. Impressive. It was just like he was talking. <laughs> you honor me. I'm pretty sure it's my first theory, and look, Elise sees through it. She's like, you idiots, I know what you're doing. I want to try. Oh, I'm so hungry. Let's eat soon. That's definitely Mila's inner thoughts. Mila, that was amazing. Is there anything the Lord of Spirits can't do? It pains me to say it. But I think you have all of us beaten. Elise is just so unamused. She's like, do I really have to put up with this crap? Really? Thanks. I've never tried that before, but it's quite entertaining. I bet with a little bit of practice. That's enough. Stop treating Tipo like a ventriloquist dummy. 
My body is not your plaything! Plaything, you say? Oh no, do not let Muse grab him! Oh no, there's no telling what he'll say. Why, that gives me all sorts of interesting ideas. <laughs> Guys, you better run. Uh, like what? You don't want to know. Her eyes are scaring me! <laughs> All right, if another skit pops up, we're not going to do it. We'll do it next time, because we've still got post-game, and we got more stuff to do. Definitely, I promise. Uh, head deeper into the land of Canaan. Okay, so it's just like as if just before we went into the final thing. Uh, whose chapter is over here? Who is it that has a chapter over here? Ivor! Ivor does. Ooh! Must be a little interesting side note thing with Ivor here. Nice. Looking forward to that. Let's jump to good old... Well, actually, let's jump to Triglyph and see what this exclamation point is. Where is it? It's it's in Spirius. We'll look into all of that next time. Let's, uh... Really quick... Wait, how much gold do I have? Luger can now be changed to a sub-member. I can finally not have Luger? Really? Really? Really, Gabe? Are you gonna... Really? Oh. Oh. So liberating. Not having to have Luger. Luger's cool and all. Well, no, not really. I kind of hate Luger's character. But, I mean, his battle and power and all that is awesome. But, oh my goodness. Scorpactus EX. Look at how much gold this thing is worth. Yeah, definitely. These are the things I was talking about. Like, you have to be, like, level 130. It looks like everyone... Yeah, there were 24 before, now there's 48. Everyone got an EX form. Joy, oh joy. Yeah, it's just they're all back. And it's all by this mad scientist. He's just revived them all, I guess. All right, so we get to go and fight these guys. I'm going to have to do some serious leveling up, though. Yeah, going to have to do some serious leveling up for that, so I wanted to look at that contract. Oh, we got three more of these to do with uh, some people I don't know. Vera, one for Vera. Traces of kinship. Oh, another Code J data thing. And it looks like I have some of these to do on my own time. I'll do those on my own time and whatnot. Can automatically do that. Done. Bam. Automatically do that. Done. Bam. Didn't I get, like, $10,000 or some crap? I thought that I got, like, a crap ton of money just for, uh, beating the game that I could use to try and pay off my debt. I'm just turning in as much of these as I can right now and see what I get. Just give me a crap ton of money, yes. Just keep feeding me all the money. All the moon Now I have to go and beat monsters. Anyways, uh, how much money do I have? Greetings, subjects. I am Novius, king of lending. Yeah, you shut up. Looks like I didn't get as much money as I thought. I don't know how much you gave me. I don't know what happened. But anyways, let's pay a million back right now. So we're now in seven-digit range. <laughs> that was my best King Gaius. No, that was awful for Gaius. Stop talking. All right, almost out of time. So really quick, let's check what we got from the apartment, and then we're going to save and wrap up. And when we come back, we will begin post-game stuff. Uh, some new skills, some friendship potions. Kitty tour is always helpful. Which we'll call it. We'll also get all the cats. There was something there that looks like a weapon of some sort that I didn't breed because I thought I would just get more random skills. But anyways, that is going to be all for now. We have, for all intents and purposes, beaten the game. What a good game it was. Great game, even. Not as good as Zillia 1. Don't ever get me wrong on that. Not as good as Zillia 1. Still very, very good, though. I very much enjoyed it. And I'm going to enjoy doing the post game. It might be a while in between this video and next because apparently I have to get to a stupid high level to be able to take on these EX monsters. And I want to, what I want to do is I want to do the, uh, I want to beat all the EX monsters. I want to do that Ivor side story thing. Whatever these green exclamation points are that are in, uh, Triglef and Spirius Corp, I want to do those. Those might actually just be the same giant green exclamation point. I'm not sure. I want to do the rest of the exclamation point jobs that have popped up. Looks like we have three, possibly more. I want to finish paying the debt. There's still a lot to do, honestly. This series has still got a good bit to go. And that final dungeon? Not sure if I'm going to do it. There was a final dungeon in Tales of Symphonia, and it was just so stupid annoying when I tried it. I just didn't do it. I stopped the Symphonia playthrough because I just got sick of it. I, did, I didn't want to do it in Symphonia, and I might not want to do it in this game. But this game is better in a lot of aspects than Symphonia was, so I might do it. It depends on what happens when I go there for the first time and see what it's like. But de we still definitely still have plenty to do in this game. Expect more vids. They might stop for a minute, or not a minute, for a little while, and then come back. You know, I might have to uh, level everyone up a crap ton, which could take a while. But definitely this, this uh, playthrough will continue, I promise you. I'm having too much fun with it. I love this too much. And definitely, before much longer, going to be going back to Azilia 1 to do Mila's side. 
And maybe even one day, far in the future, when I uh, feel like playing this game again, or I feel like playing Jude's story again on Zillia 1, I'll do the NG plus of them. I'm thinking that's highly likely, especially for, it's very likely for Zillia, because Zillia was my, uh, is one, if not, my favorite game of all time now. Not even kidding, I absolutely loved Zillia to death. But yeah, I, I'm done rambling now. Thanks for watching, you guys. I hope you enjoyed, and there will be more to come. It might be a while, but there will be more to come, I promise. And I will hopefully see you all then. Farewell.